Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install a shop vac foam sleeve onto my shop vac. And it does say up here, Fitzmo shop vac brand wet dry vac. So just make sure that this is compatible with your shop vac. And this does work for wet and dry pickup. And here's the back of the packaging. And there is a lot of information on this packaging, including warnings. So make sure to read through all of this information before you do use the foam sleeve. And make sure to refer to your shop vac owner's manual for all the specifics on this process. And before we begin, make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment and take all safety precautions. I'll be wearing a pair of nitrile gloves, safety goggles, and a good quality mask. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is make sure that the shop vac is both off and unplugged. And make sure that the hose is out of the way so you don't trip over it. Also make sure that you've removed all of the accessories from the tool holder. I've set an old t-shirt off to the side of the shop vac. That way when I take the top of the shop vac off, I can set it onto the old t-shirt to try to prevent scratches on it. Okay, so next I'm going to undo the latches. There's one on this side and one on this side. Okay, so next I'm going to lift up the top of the shop vac and then gently set it down onto the old t-shirt like so. Okay, so the foam sleeve is underneath the dry filter, so I'm going to remove the mounting ring and the dry filter, and then I'll be right back. And I do have a video where I show how to remove the mounting ring and the dry filter and how to reinstall them, and I'll link that video at the end of this one. And if you're interested and have time, please check that video out. Okay, so here's the foam sleeve, and to take the foam sleeve off, we just need to work it around the top of the filter cage here, and um, it does kind of get like stuck as you go. So you just kind of have to keep working it around in a circle here until you're able to get the whole uh, foam sleeve off. And we just about have this one off here now. There we go. So once you take the foam sleeve off, you can check it for damage and replace it if needed. And if it's dirty, you can clean it. And I will try to make a future video about how to do that. This one's still in new condition. So I'm going to reuse this. Okay, so I'm taking the foam sleeve and putting it over the top of the filter cage and then working it down around the sides. And then at the bottom, there's a groove here. And when you're using the dry filter, you want the foam sleeve to go on the outside of the groove. So I'm just working the foam sleeve around the outside of the groove like so. And then on the top of the foam sleeve, I'm just going to tuck it underneath all of the plastic tabs like so. Some shop vacs are able to use the foam sleeve while using a cartridge filter like this one here. Refer to your shop vac owner's manual to see if your shop vac is able to do so. And if your shop vac is capable of using the foam sleeve with a cartridge filter, you want to make sure that the foam sleeve is on the inside of the groove. Okay, so next I'm going to reinstall the dry filter in the mounting ring and then I'll be back and we'll go from there. Okay, so I've reinstalled the dry filter and the mounting ring. Now I'm going to reinstall the top of the shop vac. Okay, so I'm about to reinstall the top of the shop vac and you want to make sure that the hose is out of the way. That way you don't trip over it. Now I'm going to place the filter into the middle of the filter bag and line up where the latches go and then gently set the shop vac down like so. Okay, so now I'm going to re-secure both of the latches, the one on this side and the one on this side. All right, guys, well, that was it for this video, and I hope it's been helpful, and thank you so much for watching. And I do have other shop vac videos that I'll link at the end of this video, and if you're interested in have time, please check those videos out. Thank you again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.